Uh, what is up everybody? I am here in Osaka at the Kyocera Dome and I am beyond stoked because today I am going to be attending my very first Japanese pro baseball game. I'm a huge baseball fan as you may or may not know, probably don't know. I usually wear my Giants hat in most of my videos. Um, but I'm stoked so uh, they just opened the gates and I'm going to go in and we're going to enjoy this game together. I'm happy, happy, happy. So if you are planning on coming to a game, just uh, FYI here in Osaka, the ticket booth is on the third floor outside the concourse. There's probably more than one, but I asked them and they pointed me here. And uh, it's the day of the game, two hours before the game, and they're mostly pretty much sold out almost every section. I did have a choice to sit in the section of the visiting team DNA Bay Stars or of course the local team, the Oryx Buffaloes, and I chose the local team, but it's uh, way far out in like the bleachers, so we'll see how it goes. And the ticket was 2,600 yen, which is like 20 bucks, more or less. So hopefully a good deal. Um, so I'm sitting out here in outfield, upper deck, bleachers, whatever they got out there. My seat is clearly out in the boonies and way in the outfield because every other gate I pass had a big old long line to get in. And here at gate 11, <laughs> Okay, here we go. Guess I'm in the nosebleeds. I don't know if this is better or worse than the giveaways you get at Major League Games. Probably worse. Man, I'm really way up here. Ooh. One thing that I'm most excited about is that I've never been to a baseball game in the Dome before. Never been to the King Dome or the Metro Dome or uh, the Tampa Bay Rays Dome, so very, very interesting. I don't smell the grass here. Anybody recognize that uh, Gaijin down there? A big chunker. Today's game should be a really good one because it's between the Orcs Buffaloes, who are the Osaka team, in their first place, they're 27 and 21, and they are going against the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars, and they are in third place, but the record's actually better. They're 29 and 21 in their division, so it should be a good game. I'm, I'm really excited, if you can't tell. I'm gonna go get some food, and then find my seat. So just a few of the food options up here on the fifth floor. We've got a uh, burger. I don't know. We got ramen here, french fry, fried chicken, steak, and of course, gotta get a hot dog when you're at a baseball game. Hell yeah. All right, I got a hot dog combo from Moss Burger. Fries and a Coke, 1,160 yen, about eight bucks. It looks not so appetizing, but it's a hot dog, how bad could it be? that it has onions on it. I didn't get to choose my toppings. Well, it was that or a chili dog. I didn't get to uh, add my own ketchup and mustard and relish. They didn't have that station, like in America. And so that reminds me of home. Should still be able to get churros at the ballpark in San Francisco, right? It's been a while since I've been there. So let's give it a shot. It's like a chocolate flavored churro with sugar. Pretty good. Definitely not a churro I've ever had before. So this churro was 600 yen, about four bucks. I love that I'm sitting like, standing 500 feet away from the, the batting practice and this guy carries a sign around saying, watch out for flying baseballs. Like, I don't think they have Barry Bonds on their team. <laughs> I'm literally as far away as possible from the batter. Oh, here one comes. Nope.
That was a great game, really fun game. I'm really happy I went, and um, for my first ever NPB game, a lot of action. 21 total hits, final score seven to three. Of course, the hometown team, or it's Buffaloes, they, they took out the Bay Stars, so that was good. If you're into baseball, you gotta come out to Japan and watch a game, for sure. Nothing better than a day out of the ballpark. Although, it was hot as freaking balls in there, I gotta tell you. I thought the whole point of a, a, a dome was to, um, you know, have good weather, like uh, climate control. Um, but maybe they were trying to juice the ball a little bit, get some homers, and we did get to see two, two home runs. So that was fun. One other thing is uh, maybe it's a little bit like stereotypical about Japanese baseball, but I was a little bit disappointed. <laughs> it was like, okay, second inning, the DNA base stars have already got three hits and a hit by pitch. They haven't scored yet. The first inning they got two hits, second inning they let off with a hit by pitch, square in the back, and then a line drive hit. They hit the ball hard five times already. Number eight hitters up, and they sacrifice in the second inning with no outs, first and second. So now they move runners up second and third. And uh, next guy, ground ball with the infield in, and he, runner from third goes home. They throw him out of the plate, uh, getting a pickle, throw him out. Don't score, bad baseball. Uh, and then the next inning, the home team, the Buffaloes, they also have been hitting the ball, like hammering it. I think already have also three or four hits by this point, a lot of line drives. And they also get first two runners on, and they bunt. And I'm like, dude, obviously runs are not going to be at a premium in this game. You guys are both seeing the ball well, hitting the ball hard, nonstop. Nobody's striking out. That's another thing, by the way. Much better than MLB baseball is there's a lot more action because... There's none of that three true outcomes crap. And the final thing I want to say is that I'm wearing a shirt from Defector. I don't know if you guys know Defector, but uh, they always do remember some guys or remember a guy. And I guess NPB is great for remembering a guy. There was like five foreigners in the game and I don't remember most of them, but I do remember Marwin Gonzalez. And I think what I think about, I remember about Marwin Gonzalez is that he was a super utility player for the Cubs? I haven't looked it up, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's who he was. That's the whole fun of remembering a guy is like, yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah, I remember watching him do some stuff before. Um, so they do that all the time on Defector. And so that was a lot of fun to remember Marwin Gonzalez, who obviously I haven't thought about in years. He got a double. I think he went one for five, maybe. Uh, and then, and yeah, that's it. MPP, great time out of the ballpark. Can't beat it. Highly, highly recommended coming out to Japan, catching a baseball game. Oh, one other thing, I guess. I like the energy of the crowd. They had like cheering sections and stuff. But compared to Korean pro baseball, not quite as energetic and compared to American pro baseball, more energetic. So like right in the middle between Korean and Japanese. I would love to go see Taiwanese pro baseball as well. Um, but like, I think one thing that's missing compared to Korea is Korean pro ball. They always have like K-pop dancer chicks. Each team has their own signals, songs, and moves for different situations. Like basically in the crowd, they have little platforms to dance on and everybody in the crowd knows all the chants and they're really loud and they're in sync in unison know the dance, everybody knows it. So that's tons of fun. Uh, here, they also have kind of like bands and stuff and shooters on the field, but everybody's a lot more subdued. They're still into it, but I don't know, that's it. Great day out of the park, a lot of fun. I'm really glad I came and I will definitely be back to some more in PB games in the future. I hope, uh, not in a dome though, that was really, really hot. 
one other great thing before I go is how many people are able to take the subway or the JR train to the game. Almost nobody drives. Check it out. Everybody walking. Metro right here. No stadium out in a sea of parking lots. That's the way it should be. Part of the community. I love it. Japan does it right.